together that you can connect them. <coughs> what does this mean? Go back into the structure of the brain of the man. We do not have anything to do with the physicality. Arms and legs, ten fingers, two fingers, in, in fact, is irrelevant. What is important? Go back in the teaching we did last week. If you go and look at, let's say, the shape of the brain of the man, and we put this part of it aside, the brain of the man has two halves. This is your skull. We got nothing to do with it, but it's there. If you remember, Rick showed us a cross section of the brain, which we see such a structure, where the main brain on one half, either half is set, which is somewhere here. Go back and remember what I explained to you, that if this is your brain, given the strength magnetic field, is your emotion of pain. Given magnetic gravitational pain, is emotion of love. A given gravitational magnetic field, is the emotion of happiness. Given gravitational magnetic field, is sadness. All of these, whatever you know, name on them, they have a specific specific gravitational magnetic field. And when the man learns how to use which one against which one, and which part in respect to the other part, you have created the double magnetic field needed for the creation of the lift and motion. And because it's come from the skin of the man, which is his internal brain, we call it, will cover the whole body of the man. So, what you're going to see, is very simple. Your emotion, is covered by your brain. Covers the whole of the operation of your body. You don't need to look for, what I call, um, uh, reactors and whatever. The reactor is inside you. It's just for you to understand how to use it, and how to apply it. Just one second, please. I have to do something here, it's very important for us. Can you go down so I see? Sorry about that, there's things happening in the background that we have to do. Um, in so many things, if you understand this, how you can use the strength of the emotion in a very center of your brain, in respect to even each side of the brain, then you can fly. You can think. You don't need to wear a mask, a space suit, or whatever else you call it. It is important that you understand how how easily you can manipulate your field forces. In so many ways, you have to understand that what I explained to you, and how I brought you these teachings, was to understand this. Can you use, increase, your emotion of the sadness without being sad, with the emotion of happiness without being happy, and move one in one direction, or the other one in another direction, and give them different strength, that allows you to levitate allows you to gravitational magnetically position yourself. Now the secret is out. Now we understand part of the totality. Now you understand how you can control your reactors which you have built. This is what I say, you can and you have to control your emotion 
with it, you can control your spaceship. Go back on the teachings of past few weeks. I have brought you, I have guided you to this point and we go further and further. If you can understand how simply using the field strength of the emotion of the man can lead to the man's protection, then you understand how you have so many fields in your hand and you always use it for the cheapest gain, emotion. And then at the same time, you have two half of it. That you can create circulation between one and the other. And these two will give you the positioning you've been looking for. And if you can do it the proper way, the interaction of the two will give you the energy you absorb from the environment to feed the physicality without eating a single piece of material. Without harming another entity. Without absorbing the energy of another entity to be what I call the thieves of the night, scavenging on the life of other entities. You can use the structure of your brain in a very positive way to create exactly what we said, the friction between the sun and the earth. What it created was nitrogen, oxygen, carbon and hydrogen. So, if you understand how to manipulate the field forces within your brain, two sections of your brain, instead of feeding into the physicality, allow the two sections to interact, you can have all the energy you need. Because you have absorbed it. When you look at the top pictures of your brain, if you look at it, from the top, the two halves, doesn't matter how many wrinkles you put on it, inside sits the control room of the emotion and the control of the feed. It's you who has to extend the knowledge now. You have the biggest control room for you in a space, within the central structure of your own body. Try to understand what happened if I want to increase the motion of happiness with the strength of the, let's say, joy. Does it allow me to go to the left? Or does it allow me to go to the right? Does it change my skin? How many times have you asked yourself, why do I sweat when I'm afraid or when I get scared? Which of these fields has interacted with each other that has led to the creation of the matter on my skin I call sweat? Why do I cringe and my skin becomes tight? Which emotion interacts with it? And then try to understand it. Then you can create the field forces in your brain that can stand any level of change in gravitational magnetic field of the cancer of the body of the man. You got to understand there is a huge problem with the physical body of the man. And we go back to the original teachings. The body of a man, if you don't put food in it, is totally magra. But when you put food in it, is a composite, is a magra and inertia. And that's why man can never escape the boundary of this planet. This is why we have not understood the totality. 
when we take food, we are conditioned to this planet, because we carry part of its inertia. Is the inertia which is holding us attached to, not the gravity. If you can close, as we said in other teachings, the mouth of the man does not allow no matter to go in, your body will be totally of the cancer state. Then you can interact the rest of the universal condition. Then you can use the emotional lines to interact. We breathe matter inside us, and our breath is the cause of our attachment to this planet. In so many teachings, I keep on teaching line by line. Keep on teaching step by step. About the time will come when the man does not need a nose and does not have a mouth. You will come to that point when you become detached from the matter state, when there is no more inertia connected to the magraph. Magraph is the attribute of a plasma in a higher order. Inertia is the attributes of the magraph at the lower order, which is in state of matter at the point of the creation and observation. So, when you can take the matter out of the life of the man, which you take inertia away from it, then man behaves as it's actually itself a total Gans, and the entity of universe. In the state of the magnetic gravitation of the universe, then you become the chameleons of the space. And that's why we see the problem with a lot of you. In trying to think and control, you cannot achieve the construction of the physical body, because you, part of your energy, which runs in your blood, is of the inertia strength. And that is what is connected you, and keeps you to be attached to this planet. This is important. Maybe for the first time, you can understand. Go in the writings, go and understand. We say detachment brings peace. Detachment from physicality, where you don't breathe the matter state, when you don't eat the matter state, it brings you to the point of absorbing energy from the universal energy, which is totally free to all creatures of the universe. But when you add inertia to it, every breath you take, you add a matter state. You bring a matter state in the mixture of your own. So you stay attached to this planet on the matter level, on its inertia. Now try to play games for you to see if you can separate the emotion from the right side to the left side that you can, this is the left and the right of your brain section, that you can create a condition that you can feed yourself without eating. Without taking any matter state. You will find your breathing will stop. You will find your eating will stop you will find you become at the state of peace, because you do not take what it belongs to the body of another being. And then, when you get to that level, you can interact different emotion of joy and no fear, because the fear goes, you reach the level which passes and supersedes the magnetic gravitational field of the matter state and the ganses of this planet, and then you become part of the universal community. It takes a lot of understanding to be able to reach this point of detachment from the matter state. 
if you can reach the state where you create energy according to what you need from the interaction of emotion of the fields within your structure of the brain, you can feed the plasmatic condition which you call the components of matter of the man. Which is your arms and legs and whatever. As I keep on saying, we are going into the real true space technology. Up to now, we played with marbles and little games. Now, we join the adult game of the space. Very few of you will ever understand. But those who understand will elevate the others. The game, all these reactors, all these cores, all these fields you played with, was to teach you how to control the emotion of yourself. But what you created as a star formation is within you, is within your emotion. And it's you who got to decide how you want to play which reactor, or how you want to play which strength. In all the teachings, I continuously, especially in past few months, I refer to a very simple process. Each emotion does not come out of nowhere. Each emotion is the manifestation of a given strength gravitational magnetic field. As three is happiness, one is sadness, two is content, one is joy, one is laughter, one is grief. Now, you've got to connect everything together, and you find out very soon, you are more energy inside you, than you can ever imagine. Because now, you tap into the energy of the total environment which you exist in, and to exist in, because you, the environment has given you the structure to live, the environment allows you to protect yourself within another structure. So, your skin adapts to it. And then, in that process, you are the passenger of the universe. As you arrive, you take the chameleon of the place where you are. 